Hey folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Getting a handle on grips. Gun grips, that is. Let's look into it. Anyone who owns a pistol has at one point thought about the grips. The grips' primary use are as a handle for the gun. If they're too slick, the gun will slip in your hand. If they're too big, you won't get a good hold. And if they're too ugly, nobody will talk to you. Well, that may not be entirely true. Secondly, grips are a way to customize your firearm. There are a lot of different medias for gun handles. Wood is probably the most common on Old West guns. Walnut was shipped with many revolvers in the Victorian era. Wood offers a certain texture that is good to hold on to. However, many guns today come out of the shop with a slippery polyurethane coating for protection. Some folks like it, but I usually strip it off and restain the wood and add tongue oil and coats until I'm happy with the look and feel. In the Old West, those with a little extra cash could order their guns with ivory or mother of pearl grips. Back then, the ivory trade wasn't banned. Today, ivory comes from already existing stock, so as not to encourage the killing of endangered animals. You do and I'll give you such a pit! If you're playing a poor cowboy or miter, then the option of mother of pearl or ivory may not be the best choice. Although those characters could save up money for such finery, it wasn't a very practical use of their earnings. Gutta percha, an early form of plastic, was another grip material that was shipped with many firearms. It came in a blackish color, and unlike bone or wood, was not prone to shrinkage. Today, due to the rarity and cost of ivory and mother of pearl, makers like Batchak JW and Buffalo Brothers create replica grips out of resin. Some folks will get custom grips with their name or alias engraved or with a specific design. Some designs like checkering help the way the user grips the gun. Now, I also own a pair of stag grips, which I love. However, stag is controversial because there isn't a verified pair of stag grips that dates prior to the 20th century. Yet. Nowadays, the selection for grips is overwhelming. Heck, there's even 10,000-year-old Mastodon ivory available. Wow. I'm considering making a pair from T-Rex toenails, if he ever trims them. No. Come on. Hey, well, there's another episode. What you got there, Batcha? Duct tape. Why do you have duct tape? i uh, fix some grips and some other things. Yeah, well, you know, here's something interesting. A little Old West tidbit for you. They didn't actually have duct tape in the Old West. So if they needed to repair grips or something like that, they would wet rawhide, wrap it around the grip, and when it dried, it would create a bond. And then, oh, marvelous. You know, maybe we should actually do that as an episode one day. That'd be a good idea. Hey, anyway, Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on down the trail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.